All right, so since 4th of July is right around the corner, I figured I'd do a cartoon about how I used to celebrate it as a kid. And I feel like there's a pretty wide spectrum of how people celebrate the 4th. On one end, you have people that eat hot dogs and light sparklers and say the Pledge of Allegiance. Simple, nice things. And on the other end, you got a bunch of drunk maniacs committing domestic terrorism. <laughs> All in the name of America. Now, what side of the spectrum was I on as a kid? Well, I guess we're gonna set the scene and find out. All right, 4th of July, circa the late 1990s. Me and my punk ass friends would be hanging out, sweating our asses off because it was always like the hottest day of the year. It's so hot, even the pedophile ice cream man's handing out free popsicles like, here, just fucking take them. You don't even gotta take your shirts off. They're on the house. It's so goddamn hot outside. Everybody's dad is outside, drunk as hell because they've been drinking since 10.45 in the morning. Yeah, I'm drunk, so what? George Washington invented freedom, and I'm free to drink a fucking 40 ounce before breakfast. Gulp, 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 gulp. Meanwhile, your Uncle Rick is making hot dogs on the grill because, uh, well, it's the 4th of July, and your ass is probably gonna be eating hot dogs for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. All right, everybody, get your red hots. Oh, God damn it, Uncle Rick, you burnt the shit out of these. I hate you, Uncle Rick. I hate you, and I'm glad your ex-wife got the house in the divorce. Now, of course, one of the most important parts of the 4th of July is the fireworks. And the man in charge of fireworks every year when I was a kid was a guy named Bob that lived down the street. Now, I didn't know a whole lot about Bob. All I knew was he was like the first grown man I ever seen with a ponytail. And the only time I ever talked to him was one night when me and my friend Michael walked past his house and he was like, hey, hey, you kids, you guys want to see the moon? Uh, see the moon? It's right there in the sky. No, I mean like through a telescope. I got one in my backyard. You guys want to see the moon? Come on, let's go see the fucking moon. Now, normally, if you went into the backyard of a man named Bob with a ponytail, your ass would end up on a fucking milk carton a week later. But thankfully, this Bob was all right. He was one of the good ones. All he cared about was seeing the fucking moon through a telescope, and by golly, that's what we did. Anyways, what am I talking about? Oh yeah, Bob and his fireworks. So anyways, every 4th of July, Bob would have a shit ton of fireworks. And we're not talking little snakes and sparklers here. We're talking some illegal ass fucking Chinese writing on the side, big ass fireworks. We're talking shit that was named after fucking ACDC songs. They'd be called like TNT and Thunderstruck or fucking, it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. All right, maybe not that one, but that is a good fucking song. I don't care. So every year, Bob would line all these fireworks up, and for like 35 minutes or so, the sky above our neighborhood looked like the fucking apocalypse. Holy smokes, this is intense! I mean, we're talking about a grown man with a fucking ponytail, all right? He's practically got a fucking PhD in fireworks. He knows what he's doing. Now you'd think that, uh, well, us being small children, we wouldn't be allowed anywhere near these fireworks. But then you gotta remember that we're being supervised by a bunch of drunk dads. And let me tell you a secret, it's a lot like not being supervised at all. Hell, it seemed like the drunker that they got, the more dangerous shit we were allowed to do. So then I said to the guy, oh, what the hell, we're out of beer already? Hey, Michael, get your ass over here. Take my car down to the carryout and get some more beer. And don't fuck up and get Mickey Alters again, I swear to God. So anyways, what was I saying? Oh yeah, that's right. So I say to the guy, hey, buddy. Ah! It's the 4th of July, and if I want to drink a 40 ounce, I'm going to drink a fucking 40 ounce. All right, so at this point in the cartoon, I got to stop and uh, do a little PSA and get this out of the way. Bruce 2 Films does not condone children, or anybody for that matter, lighting off fireworks. Fireworks are dangerous to everybody, no matter how long your ponytail may or may not be. Do not attempt to recreate any of the shit mentioned in this video. All right, you think that covered my ass? Probably not. Oh, well, fuck it. Anyways, what I'm about to say is, sometimes these drunk-ass dads would let us light our own fireworks off by ourselves. I know, it's stupid as hell, but you gotta remember this was back in the 90s, and nobody gave a fuck about kids back then. And back in my day, it wasn't the 4th of July in Ohio. If there wasn't a fucking 4th grader lighting off an illegal explosive out of a goddamn empty 40-ounce of King Cobra, it would've been like having Christmas without Rudolph. They go hand in hand. So we'd light these fireworks off, and our 9-year-old asses would be completely completely mesmerized. Ah, oh, that was badass. Can we do two at a time? Quick, somebody get me another 40 ounce. Coming right up. Gulp, 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 gulp. Yeah, what a time to be alive, that's for sure. And if that wasn't bad enough, well, I gotta say, unfortunately, it gets a little bit worse because I haven't even brought up the goddamn Roman candles yet. Now, for all you snakes and sparkler people out there that don't know what the hell a Roman candle is, well, it's a fucking cardboard tube that shoots out fireballs. It's definitely not for children. I don't even think it's for adults. I don't know what the fucking correct demographic is for fireball tubes. Now, I have to be even more careful here on what I'm about to say. There's a very good chance that I could get canceled by the YouTube police and, uh, well, then I'd have to go fucking work at a goddamn car dealership again, so I'm a little hesitant to say what we did with these things. You know what, in fact, I'm not even gonna tell you what we did with the goddamn Roman candles. Let's just say that, hypothetically, maybe what happened was, we grabbed a bunch of Roman candles when nobody was looking, and then possibly, we lined up side by side in the street, like we're in the fucking Civil War, and then, I don't know, maybe we shot the shit out of each other with fireball tubes. 
Look, I'm not saying that's what we did, okay? I'm also not, not saying that's what we did. I think that's how plausible deniability works. I don't know, I'm not a fucking lawyer. All I'm saying is that maybe, just maybe, on July 4th, 1999, a bunch of fourth graders may have committed multiple counts of assault with a deadly weapon. That's all I'm saying, maybe. And that possibly, it might have looked something like this. Now all I gotta say is what kind of stupid idiots would do something so dangerous and something so fucking irresponsible? I don't have the faintest idea, but I surely don't recommend it. Fireballs are great when they're in a Super Mario video game. Not so great when you're launching them at your fucking friend wearing a Scottie Pippen jersey. That's bad news. How about another PSA? Should we do another one? Ah, fuck it. Better safe than sorry. Bruce New Films does not condone shooting fireballs at your fucking friends. Don't do stupid shit. Fireworks is bad. Don't firework. You think that did it? That definitely covered my ass now, right? God, I hope so. So with all that being said, I hope you all have a very safe 4th of July. Remember that uh, fireworks and 40 ounces don't mix. And probably just don't screw around with fireworks to begin with. You will get hurt, I assure you. I'm living proof. Maybe, that is. Allegedly, I'm living proof. <clears throat> Leave all the firework lighting to the man with a ponytail, or at the very least, like a fucking shirtless guy with a mullet. Happy 4th of July, everybody. The end. BruceDude.com